Hello there. We arrived once more to the most important moment of the Luca Memorial Photo Contest. The grand finale. To announce the photo of the year winners for 2021. The Luca Memorial Photo Contest was born in 2018 to remember Luca Chiarabini, an immeasurable fan of caving and canyoning, member of the San Bernardino Cave Rescue Team and the biggest contributor to Rope Wiki. It's today the one and only annual international photo contest dedicated exclusively to Luca's greatest passions, caving and canyoning. Aiming to encourage and prize the sharing of these passions by enthusiasts like Luca from all over the world. During the 2021 edition, we got an impressive increase of 70% in participation. 1,200 photos from 40 different countries have been submitted. To all participants from all around the world, thank you from the heart. During this edition we have introduced some successful changes. First, to facilitate to enter, we introduced the possibility to easily submit Instagram and Facebook photos. Then, to encourage the doubtful ones, we introduced the monthly random pick, awarding monthly to a random participant a $100 voucher for purchases at our friend stores. And also, to favor amateurs, we introduced a dedicated award for the highest ranked photos made by pure amateur photographers. And finally, to have a more plural judgment and honoring, we have introduced the brand awards, inviting some partner brand to pick themselves their own photo of the year winner. We will surely carry over these in next editions, as well as adding new projects. Among other novelties for 2022, it will stand out a unique premium book, collecting the best worldwide 100 photos of the past two years. This book is going to be unique and special in many aspects. We will duly announce more about this book project in next weeks. Now, regarding the grand finale 2021. The finale jury is composed by 14 amazing members. Prized photographers, distinguished athletes, renowned community opinion leaders, as well as glorious past winners. They all have carefully scored the finalist photos. Many thanks to all of them. Over 90 amazing photos qualified as finalists, after having been elected by international juries in rounds every four months. It wasn't an easy task for the finale jury. All finalist photos were really awesome. The photos that managed to impress the most jury members are now going to be announced winners and honorable mentions of the Photo of the Year Award. Number 3, Honorable Mention. Congratulations! Bartek started caving in Poland in the late 90s, exploring caves in the Polish Jura. And he is currently member of Dudley Caving Club and a volunteer for Midlands Cave Rescue Organization in the UK. He has visited many cave systems in UK, Europe, North Africa and Thailand. Photography started as a big hobby in his youth and he took it underground with him. Only in recent years he started sharing the pictures with a wider community of cavers and making the darkness of caves visible for non-cavers has now developed into a real passion for him. Bartek entitles his photo as the bell and the location of the photo is precisely the bell pitch in Irby Fell Cavern in Yorkshire, UK. The Irby Fell Cavern is the longest cave in UK, a system going underground across three counties, Yorkshire, Lancashire and Cumbria. Number 2, Honorable Mention. Congratulations! Eugene was born in Malaysia, he is 24 years old and lives in New Zealand. He began climbing at university and then gradually expanded into the wonderful world of canyoning and caving. He feels lucky that New Zealand has so many world top class caves and canyons in such a small isolated country. He relies on photography and videography to fully appreciate the beautiful intricacies of caves and canyons in greater detail than his mind could have captured at the moment. Eugene entitled his photo as the Doppler effect and this cave is located in Abel, Tasman National Park, in South Island, New Zealand. With 50 meters wide and nearly 180 meters deep, the cave was carved out by an acidic waterfall eroding into limestone. The trail to it follows a distinct dried up riverbed. The 11-minute descent reminded Eugene of the Doppler effect, as the beautiful cave seems to pass slowly around you as you descend, but the contrast of watching the rope running quickly through the rack is a stark indicator of the vastness you are descending into. Amateur number 1, Luca Memorial Amateur Photo of the Year 2021. Ranking Absolute Best Amateur Photo Among All Photos. Congratulations! Juan Ignacio was born in Madrid, he is 55 years old and lives in Asturias, Spain. He has been linked to the underground world since he was a teenager, caving within the national territory. At the moment he is not involved anymore with great vertical explorations and caving expeditions. He is however still involved with the underground and in the last five years, he has tried to show through photography the wonders that are hidden under our feet, placing special emphasis on the need to conserve and care these fragile and delicate ecosystems. 
Yuan Ignacio entitles his photo under the storm, as the image was taken when the cave was under a strong external storm. It's the Alda Cave in the Council of Cabrales, Asturias, very close to the Picos de Europa National Park in Spain. The image was taken in a simple way, it was decided to light one of the stalagmites with a LED flashlight, the other with the own frontal. Then, let the camera capture the water trajectory with one second exposure. The photograph it is part of the current editorial work that he is preparing, which will be already his second book dedicated exclusively to underground photography. Absolute number 1, Luca Memorial Photo of the Year 2021. Ranking Absolute Best Photo Among All Photos Submitted During 2021. Congratulations! Giovanni is 24 years old. He lives in Belluno where he is known as photographer and for his adventures in the Italian Dolomites. In 2021 he discovered canyoning as a sport, and he has fallen in love with it. He believes that the flow of the water is pure natural energy. He is convinced there are no funnier and better things to do in hot summer days than a canyoning outing. He always brings his camera with him to take pictures of places that few people can see. Giovanni entitles his photo as a work of water and time, and the location is Maur Canyon, near Belluno, in the Italian Dolomites. Maur is a unique canyon to say the least, as easy as it is, it is spectacular. Always ready to leave everyone speechless, from beginners to veterans, from locals to outsiders of all over the world. The geology of this place is amazing, there are parts where the walls are so high and it's so dark inside that taking good picture here it's not so easy. They say that those who start practicing canyoning in Mauer Canyon fall in love with this sport, and for Giovanni it was just like that. Congratulations to everyone! Help us honoring and remembering Luca, please spread the word and encourage about our photo contest. All caving and canyoning fans from around the world are invited to participate. The 2022 photo contest edition starts February 1st. We invite all caving and canyoning fans worldwide. Join us, participation is free, you can easily send Instagram and Facebook photos, and you can opt to win amazing prizes and recognitions. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for updates. And stay tuned for the brand award winners to be announced later today.